some money. Who here is ready to make more money, right? How many of us have invested in ourselves, uh, you know, over and over again for years and years, trainings, protocols, and uh, now you're ready to get your investment back in yourself. So good to see you, Joseph. And uh, for everyone else popping on, and for those of you who are brand new to the group, my name is Leah Catherine. I am the owner and founder here at Six Figure Spirit. I'm also a uh, I'm also a fellow hypnotist as well. And so, uh, who is this group for? So, if you're brand new to this group, this is the group for hypnotists, holistic practitioners, uh, you know, service based holistic providers. So, if you are um, a meditation instructor, coach, uh, EFT practitioners, we've got Akashic Records readers, psychics, mediums, uh, tarot card readers. Um, just name it. You, we, we've, we've got RTT practitioners. I mean, hypnotists, obviously. Um, so that is who this group is for and who are finally ready to really get serious and turn this into a full-time business. Okay. So a lot of you are coming into this group and, um, you know, I would say, I would say the majority of people in this group are kind of stuck below the $5,000 mark per, per month. Uh, that's where a lot of healers are. And, um, we, you know, a lot of us are ready to turn this into a full-time living. So that's what we were meant to do as, a, as healers, right? That, you know, we were called to do something. We were not called to work for someone else. And most likely, if you're sitting here watching this, you're, you probably consider yourself unemployable <laughs> at this point. So uh, as I like to start out every Wednesday, if you're new, and even if you're not new, go ahead and let me know who, who is here on the line. What do you do? And what, do, what are your spiritual superpowers? So how, how do you help people? What is your background? What's on your resume? And uh, we're just going to jump in, okay? So I thought about this topic here today because I was thinking back and comparing my own, my current business to my previous business and all of the ways in which I passed up um, really making more money in my business. And... Um, you know, a lot of these things can be obvious. Like there's some obvious ones here, which is like um, raising your prices. Like that's more of an obvious one. A lot of us already know we're undercharging. So I didn't list that one. Um, the ones that I found here are a little bit more nuanced. Okay. So, so how many of you here feel like you're leaving money on the table right now? Like drop a yes or drop a, drop a no below if you're not. But if you feel like in some way, maybe like your, um, <clears throat> You feel like in some way you're leaving money on the table right now go ahead and drop the word uh yes below and also let us know who we have here on the line today who do we have here where are you tuning in from and what are your spiritual superpowers what do you do what's your background and we're gonna roll right into it all right so who do we have here on the line today what are your spiritual superpowers what do you guys do? What's your background? And are you wanting to, um, you know, do you feel like you're leaving money on the table somewhere? Let me know below. Let's get this conversation going. Okay. So a lot of these, again, these, a lot of these are just very nuanced. Not all of them are, um, you know, again, some of the more obvious ones is like, you're not charging enough. That's pretty obvious. Um, that one's also a pretty easy fix too, for the most part. So who else do we have here on the line today? And how many of you feel like you're leaving money on the table right now? Let me know. Just Joseph. We just got Joseph here. <laughs> Guys, um, if you want, if you want to participate, be sure to comment below. Cause I can't see who is on here on the line. So if you have any, um, <clears throat> comments or you want to participate, be sure to comment below. So how many of you feel like maybe you're leaving money on the table somewhere with your strategy? Like maybe you don't, you don't feel like you're taking as an active approach as you could be with your marketing, right? That's a very common one. A lot of us are referral based. A lot of us are just sitting around waiting for um, clients to come to us, right? So that's another way that we end up leaving money on the table. Who else do we have here on the line? Well, maybe we can all agree here that we want to make more. How many of you here, first of all, have an active business and you're wanting to basically put together 
some sort of marketing strategy, a better marketing strategy, so you're not spinning your wheels. How many of you here feel like you're spinning your wheels on social media right now? <clears throat> nope. So Joseph says, after coffee, energy, yep. So energy practitioner, yep, we have a lot of Reiki healers, Reiki masters, energy practitioners, and Akashic Records readers. I'm sorry, Akashic Records consultants, and a multi-instrumentalist, multi military vet, and a cat meowster whisperer. Love it. Perfect. So what ends up happening in our business when we're leaving money on the table? What does this end up looking like in our business? So first of all, one thing that continued to show up for me when I was leaving a lot of money on the table was that I kept attracting unqualified clients. So I was attracting unqualified people. I was attracting a lot of broke people. And so the biggest, you know, but the, but here was the thing. I was, I was never actually clear on whether people were broke or not. How many of you here feel like you're not really sure? Like you feel like you're attracting a lot of broke people, but you're not really entirely sure, right? So Part of it is that you're, you keep talking to the wrong people. You keep, people. you keep talking to people who are not qualified clients, okay? So how many of you feel like you continue to talk to the wrong people, right? You're talking to people who are wasting your time, the tire kickers, right? Okay? Another way this ends up showing up in your business is that you're running into, into clients who don't want to commit. So how many of you are running into clients who just don't want to commit? Right? How many of you feel like that? You're running into people who are sort of on the fence and they've got like one foot in, one foot out. Right? Okay. Or how many of you here are spending tons of money? So my, uh, just says my feed keeps freezing. Uh, I'm on my hotspot right now. Is any, are any of you other guys? Um, am I freezing for anybody else? Anybody else like my, anybody else in my freezing? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay, let me know below. Or is it my uh, connection here? <clears throat> hey, Katie, am I freezing on your end? Can you guys, can you guys see me and hear me? Okay, let me know below if you could see me and hear me. Okay. Hmm. Yes, no. Am I freezing for anybody else? Anybody else? Can you guys see me and hear me okay? Just let me know below. Yes or no? If not, I'll just go ahead and keep going. Um, I'm on my hotspot this time, so it should be freezing a little bit. Is it as bad as it was before, Katie? Is it as bad as it was before? Hopefully it's not as bad as it was before. All right, so well, let's just keep going here. So. You continue to run into, okay, so Marie says no issues. Okay, well, let's keep going. Um, so it's not as bad as it was before. Okay, cool. All right, so when you're leaving money on the table, or at least way too much of it, what ends up happening is you, well, how it's showing up in your business is that you're talking to a lot of unqualified people, and you're spending too much time with the wrong people. So how many of you here have spent like a long time, or maybe days or hours, or even just way too long pursuing somebody only to find out that they were either uncoachable or they're just the finances were not even there or they would they were just not a good fit for some other reason okay so this is something then especially with social media because a lot of us are trying to tackle the social media game right we end up going into the DMS and find targeting completely um, the wrong type of clients right so that's one way we leave money on the table is we're just not we're just not talking to the right people Okay. Or you just don't know how to help your clients get over that commitment hump, right? They're just, they're on the, they're on the very edge. They're on the ledge. They're straddling whether they should move forward or not. But if you don't know how to coach them through that, again, now you're leaving money on the table. Okay. This was one way I was leaving a lot of money on the table uh, when I was working solely as a hypnotist. Okay. Or this is a very common one. You feel like you're spending a tons of money on marketing with little or nothing to show in return. How many of you feel like you're spending a ton, maybe not even a ton of money, but you're spending more on marketing than you're actually getting back. So actually 
like your return on your ad spend is like in the negatives. This is another very common one. How many of you here are doing marketing right now that's just not returning? Maybe you're running ads. Maybe you're doing some sort of organic reach. Maybe you're doing, I think there's like organic ads or something like that now. But you're not getting back your investment or time in ads, right? So that's another, that's how this, if you don't have a proper strategy for that, you end up leaving a lot of money on the table. Okay. Or perhaps you feel like you are throwing money, a lot of money, into just meaningless strategies, like jumping from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. Another very common way we end up leaving a lot of money on the table. Just not really follow through with any strategies that you have for whatever reason. Okay. Is this resonating with some of you guys? Let me know below. Am I talking to the right crowd here? Just drop the word me below if any of these have resonated with you so far. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So maybe on top of that, you're um, stuck relying on what ends up happening in your business as well is if you're leaving money on the table, you end up stuck relying on um, inconsistence or unpredictable client revenue, or I'm sorry, client streams, right? Client, like lead acquisition streams, like like word of mouth. If you're, only, if you're solely relying on word of mouth, right? You end up leaving a lot of money on the table. Um, <clears throat> Marie says, that's me. Marie says, multiple strategies. So you're, you're kind of going from one strategy to the next to the next. Yep. We, end up, we end up losing a lot of money there when we don't fully commit for whatever reason and follow through, okay? And then you end up, here's another one. This is another very common, uh, this is how a lot of hypnotists and healers lose a lot of money, is that they don't know how to handle or manage time and money objections. So how many of you feel like you're just losing sales constantly because you just don't know how to do a proper strategy call or a proper diagnosis? Okay, during your strategy call. Okay, so that's another very common um, way I see so many hypnotists and healers. Like maybe you've got calls on the books, but they're not converting. Right? How many of you feel like you're? That's one of your. Um, that's showing up in your business as well. Okay. So, if you feel like any of these resonating with you, you are leaving money on the table right now. Like there's things you can do to turn this around so you can start getting a return back on your investment, whether it's time or whether it's money. So just a really quick recap here. If you're leaving on the money, if you're leaving money on the table, this is how it shows up in your business. So you keep attracting unqualified, you're spending too much time with the wrong people. You are, you're pursuing clients who are just not a good fit. Maybe for, for whatever reason, out of desperation, out of like just needing a sale, right? So you're just spending a lot of time with the wrong people. This is something I used to do way, way back in the day, right? Uh, so Marie says, my issue is too many body work clients burning out. Ah, yeah. So one way you may be leaving money on the table is by not having another strategy or a new strategy, or maybe you have the strategy, you're not following through on it, right? So now it's just like you're, you're kind of burning the midnight oil right? You're, you're kind of going on fumes now. So that in that, in every, every day that goes by, right, until a change is made, then you're just going to keep, you know, kind of bleeding out the same energy, right? Okay. So you also find clients who are, am I still online here? Uh, Marie says she lost me. Am I still here? I'm on my hotspot this time, which is usually a pretty good connection but not always. <laughs> I don't know what you're seeing on that other side, but um, man, is it me or is it Facebook or I don't know, but um, we'll just keep rolling along here. There's not much I can do because I'm not on Spectrum anymore. I'm on my hotspot, but um, <clears throat> that's as bad as last week. Oh boy. Well, if, if for some reason you're not getting, um, you're missing stuff, it's kind of, if it's like getting choppy, the replay will be in the group and I'll send it out tomorrow. Okay. All right, so let's get back into it. So again, really quick recap for some of you who tuned in a little bit later. You're spending, you're running into people who are not willing to commit. So Joseph says I'm a lot of clear now. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. So you're running into clients who aren't willing to commit. 
that, and you're spending all these, you're spending all this time with them on the call, right? Like maybe you have an hour long call or a two hour long call and then they're just, they're just gone, right? So that's one way, another way we end up leaving money on the table. Spending tons on marketing with a little in return. This is another big mistake I see hypnotists and healers make is they keep doing these strategies that are just, it's just, again, just bleeding out money without any proper strategy to go about. It's just like, let me just try and add today by myself and see what happens. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? I lost a lot of money trying to do that, okay? You gotta have a strategy. You gotta know how to test. And you gotta know how to, um, you gotta know how to test and scale properly with these ads, okay? It's not just about, winging it <laughs> so that's another one like if you if you feel like you're winging your strategy right now uh drop the word wing below if you feel like you're kind of winging your strategy right now that's another way we leave money on the table it's just by winging it right winging our posts winging our videos our um our live streams without any real intention right <clears throat> uh, joseph says we can pool our energy together and think positive that your transmission isn't uninterrupted. <laughs> yeah, so let's give that a try. Um, hopefully I'm back online now or back online at all. Um, okay, so you're spending tons on marketing with little in return. You're th you feel like you keep throwing money into meaningless strategies that go nowhere. Like they're just going nowhere, right? For whatever reason, again, it's, it might be you, it might be the strategy, it might be the person teaching the strategy, we don't know but these strategies are just not going anywhere, okay? Or you feel like you're stuck relying on unpredictable methods. You're, you're just, you know, you don't know when the next client's gonna come, okay? So you're you're sort of twiddling your thumbs, twiddling your fingers, hoping and wishing a client, uh, you know, uh, signs up on your book, on your calendar, right? So Joseph says winging. Anyone else here feel like they're winging their marketing right now? It's just like, let's just see what works. <laughs> big way we leave a lot of money on the table right there okay and I did the same thing I used to like I'll just look at everyone else I'll just look at other Facebook groups I'll just look at other ads and I'll just mimic that it doesn't work and and here's why is because you can't just gather one piece of somebody's system and expect it to do the same for you you can't have one piece like you can't just grab and, and use someone else's ad as a template and then post and hope it works. Like it just, there's so much again going on on the back end that you can't see. Okay, all right. And then finally, you are leaving a lot of money on the table if you feel like you're wrestling a lot of um, money and time objections. Okay, so you're spending a lot of time that costs money on these calls only for the potential client to walk away with whatever. I can't afford it. I got to think about it. Um, you know, let me talk to my my spirit guides, let me think on it, like all, all of this stuff, which, you know, <laughs> what does it even mean? What is What does that mean? Think about what, right? Okay. So if any of these drop, uh, any of these uh, resonate with you, drop the word me below. If you feel like any of this is resonating with you right now, like you feel like you're pouring money into things that are not returning, you feel like you're kind of winging your marketing strategies, you're spending too long with the wrong people, like you're pursuing the wrong people, but you don't know where to find the right people, right? You don't know how to get in front of the right people. So who, yeah, drop the word me below if you feel like this is resonating with you. And then we're gonna get into the four things, the four biggest ways and how this is, we already went over how this is showing up in your business, but what are actually these blind spots? So we're gonna go over now, we're gonna get to these blind spots here. But yeah, so Joseph says to me, anyone else? Who else? <clears throat> Any of these resonating with you guys? Am I talking to the, the right crowd here? Because a lot of you coming in wanna get into marketing. A lot of you getting, coming in wanna get into marketing because you're done relying on, on word of mouth. <clears throat> You're done. Um, you're done be ha having a scarcity mindset, right? You're ready to bring in abundance. Okay. All right. You guys ready to get into these four blind spots? These are again. These are a little bit more nuanced. These aren't going to be the obvious ones like raise your prices. That's that's an easy ones. So drop the word four below if you guys are ready to find out what these four blind spots are. <clears throat> you ready, guys? Before I get into it, let me know if I'm talking to the right people here. 
Is this resonating with you guys? Drop the word four below or the number four and we'll get rocking and rolling. Mm. I'm gonna get some water in the meantime. Hopefully my video is still working. <clears throat> Any of you guys wanna know what these four blind spots are? Just me? <laughs> Just Joseph and me? Nobody else wants to know? <clears throat> uh, Joseph says four. What else we got on the line here today? My, I know my voice is like kind of scratchy too. I'm getting over a bug. <coughs> so bear with me here. Who else wants to know? Four, four of these four blind spots. Okay. These are some very like subtle ways that you're losing money every single day. Very subtle ways you're losing money every single day in your business. Katie says me. Uh, give me one more. Give me one more here, guys. Let me know you're still with me here and my stream is still going. Let's get one more going here. And we'll get into it. Let's go. Come on, guys. I know it's Wednesday. We're almost there. It's almost the end of the week. We got this. Who else we have out here on the line here today? <clears throat> That's it. Nobody else wants to know. All right. We'll shut down early. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like people are dead here today. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll give you one here. So you guys aren't giving me, um, I think my cat's about to jump up. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's get, let's do one here. Okay. All right. So here's a, here's a, here's a big one. Okay. You're leaving money on the table. If you're not proactive and instead you're waiting for clients to come to you. So I did this for years and always was stuck below the 5k per month mark <clears throat> because you like word of mouth because you like when people come to you. Uh, Jessica says you're freezing a lot. <laughs> I know that's not news. Um, and I wish there was more I could do at this point. I mean, it's probably just my location. It's probably just my location. I'm not high up, you know, I'm kind of on the ground level. But anyway, again, the replay is gonna be in the uh, group, <clears throat> okay? So one of the biggest blind spots, blind spots in the way you're leaving, uh, losing money every single day in your business is not being proactive, not going after potential leads and potential clients. So a lot of you are a hundred percent, like a hundred percent or mostly referral, and you're never going to have the predictability that you're looking for if you're always sitting back and waiting. And no, why do why do we do this? Why does this end up happening? Well, what I've discovered is that a lot of healers and hypnotists are just really uncomfortable pursuing, are really uncomfortable pursuing clients because they don't want to be salesy, they don't want to be pushy, and it's just easier to have clients come to us and knock on our door. Well, of course it's easier, but it's easier, you know, look at look at businesses like um, like Amazon or Microsoft. Do you, do you think they sat around waiting for people to come to them? Waiting for clients to come to them, waiting for referral only, right? Imagine if like Toyota or some of these huge car companies sat around and just waited for potential clients to come to them. Do you think they would be as big as they are? No, right? They got in people's faces. They got in front of their ideal client. They were proactive. They pursued. <laughs> Joseph says a different kind of frozen today, on and off, more consistently shorter. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I mean, I have to keep trying to figure this out. Um, but anyway, let's keep going here. The replay will be in the group and I'll send it out this week. So that's the first one. So next one here is you're not able to get clients over that commitment hump. They're not willing to commit. So one of the most common ways that I used to leave money on the table and I see a lot of you hypnotists and healers leaving money on the table is that you're spending all this time on the call. You're doing an amazing discovery and then you pitch and then all of a sudden it's too expensive. They have to think about it. Okay. Because you don't know what's gone wrong on that call or if you don't know how to get through the commitment phase, 
now you've just lost that sale, right? So another very common way, hypnotists and healers are leaving money on the table, okay? So how do you feel about your strategy calls? Do you feel like they're, like, what is your closing rate? Do you guys know what your closing percentage is? Okay, if you wanna run a really fruitful, predictable, successful business, you gotta know your numbers. So do you know your close rate? Okay, how many of you here actually know your close rate? Or keep track of like any of that? Drop the word me below. If any of you here actually, you actually know your close rate. Drop the, drop me below or drop your close rate below. I'll tell you mine is about um, in the 40s, it's 40 to 50%. That's my close rate. That's pretty good for um, high ticket. Okay. <clears throat> so nobody here knows their close rate, huh? None of you guys know your close rate? See, you got to know. Okay. Got to know your numbers. And somebody, I, people have been telling this, and chances are you guys have been told this over and over again, too. Know your numbers, right? Okay. Or else how can you create a predictable system if you don't know your numbers? Okay. All right. Let's go to the number three here. And I've already, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I've already touched this on this one a little bit, but you're talking to unqualified and spending your time with the wrong people. And here's a great example of this. A lot of us as hypnotists and healers are talking to people who don't even want to, don't want to explore hypnosis or they don't even want to explore the healing modalities that we have. This is a conversation I have with a lot. I've had with a lot of you guys, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me, bear with me again. <clears throat> My voice is just kind of shot from coughing this week. But a lot of you are talking to people who just who are like, "Don't look into my eyes." Like, don't they don't want it? But you continue to pursue people who are like pushing you away. How many of you are doing that? You continue to pursue pursue clients or potential clients that are pushing you away or giving you all of the signs and signals that I am not interested, okay? This usually happens because we're in a scarcity mindset, okay? And this can happen if you're referral-based only. You know, it takes a long time to build up a solely referral-based business. So if you don't have the abundance that, that social media can, um, that, can, that uh, having a community can give us, then you're gonna be in a scarcity mindset, always wondering where the next client's gonna come, okay? So someone who doesn't want your help is not a good client, okay? Also, if you're pitching hypnosis, you're not pitching, stop pitching your modality, <coughs> okay? <clears throat> All right, let's go into the last one here. You guys ready for this last one here? Drop again the number four if you guys, you, um, yeah, drop the number four if you guys are ready for this last one. This is another big one. This is one that once I fix this, I pretty much like tripled my income. My I tripled my monthly income once I fix this. Huge. Probably, probably most of you are making this one mistake. <clears throat> you guys ready? Let me know below. Drop again the number four. You guys ready for this one? This last one here. And then I'm not gonna spend too long because I, I need to go heal my voice. But this is a big one. <clears throat> you guys ready for this one? You guys still with me? Or am I talking to the screen now? Am I frozen? <laughs> Let me know below if you guys are ready for this last one. <clears throat> you guys still with me or am I frozen? Let me know here. Give me some life. And let me know here. And then we'll get into this one. <clears throat> you all gone? You all you guys are... <laughs> Am I talking to myself here now? <clears throat> you guys ready for this last one? Just dr drop the number four, drop me below. Just let me know you're still with me here. No, am I, guys, am I frozen here? Con, this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay, Morgan says they're not frozen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Do you guys some comments? Sometimes I don't know. So, all right, let's go into this last one here. So, <clears throat> all right, let's go. So, quick recap here. So, three biggest ways you're leaving money on the table or even losing money every single day is you're not proactive, you're waiting. You sit back and wait for clients to come to you. <clears throat> you're, you don't know 
how to get clients to commit on calls. So you're losing money there. That's the second one. Number three is you're just pursuing the wrong people. Like people who are just like, like don't like, don't look into my eyes. They're afraid of hypnosis. They're afraid of your frequency healing, your vibrational healing. Your, they just don't want it. <laughs> but you keep pursuing people, keep pushing back at you, right? That's the third one. Now this fourth one here is very key. Again, once I shifted this, I literally tripled my monthly income, okay? And it was a lot of you, and just like myself in the past, we're not, you're not prioritizing your day correctly. You're not working on the right things during the day. So you're doing things during the day, like messing around with your course or staring at the clock, waiting for people to book or staring at your inbox, waiting for people to book, or you're messing around with a logo or a website. <clears throat> you're messing around with uh, putting together posts, right? Or a blog. All of this stuff doesn't make you money. None of this stuff makes you money. None of it. And I know that, that is a huge blind spot for a lot of you. But none of this stuff makes you money. Doing a blog doesn't make you money. Doing a post doesn't make you money. Doing um, sharing an article doesn't make you money. Messing around with a website doesn't make you money. Putting together the most perfect video <laughs> for YouTube or for your website is not going to make you money. And this is where so many hypnotists and healers are spending their time during the day. And none of this converts sales. Okay. <clears throat> How many of you are spending your time doing this during the day? Drop, uh, drop me below if this is like a big like eye opener for you right now. Just drop uh, the word me below. This is an eye opener for right now. How many of you are spending like this kind of time during the day? Like your prime time on these things. Media, graphics, posts, recording the perfect video, posting the perfect video. Yep. None of this stuff converts. This is not, none of this is going to make money. Nope. Because all of this builds presence. Presence does not translate to purchases. Okay. So all of the stuff you're doing, which is putting out presence is great, but do you have a strategy to convert? Do you have a strategy to produce sales? That's a, that's a completely different strategy. Okay. So questions, guys, questions, as we are kind of coming up on the half hour here, questions on any of these before we hop off here. Okay. So if you feel like you're stuck below the 5K mark in your business, or you feel like you're just talking to people who are not your ideal clients, but you don't know where else to go, right? If you feel like you're putting way much in, too much into marketing that you're not getting back in terms of um, uh, just financially, you're putting out way too more than you're getting back, right? Chances are you're doing one or more of all, or all of these things. So questions on any of these, okay? Quick recap of all of them. So you're not proactive, you're more reactive. You're more waiting for clients to come to you. You're not pursuing, leaving a ton of money on the table right now, especially if you're paying for ads, especially if you're paying for ads, okay? You are not able to help people through their objections or the commitment at the end of the call. Or maybe you don't know how to do a proper strategy call. That's it. That's a huge one. If you don't know how to do a proper strategy call, you're leaving tons of money on the table. Because I guarantee you, most of the prospects you talk to, the money is there. The money is there. They're just not motivated to part with it, right? They're just not motivated to part with it, okay? This third one here, you're just pursuing the wrong people. You're just pursuing the wrong people altogether. People who don't want hypnosis, they're afraid of you. <laughs> they're afraid of hypnosis, right? And yet you guys keep going after and wrestling these people and you want to like pin them down and bring them into your office. Is that really your ideal client? Is somebody you have to chase down? Is that your ideal client? Is someone you have to chase? Not for me. I ain't get, I'm not speeding up for no one. <laughs> nope. Uh, Morgan is asking how to pursue clients without sounding salesy. Yeah, I mean, um, it's basically pursuing the client without being salesy. So... Morgan, do you, how, like, how are you doing this now? Do you think you're being salesy right now? 
Because most of you know when you're being salesy. Because here's, here, here's the thing. There's usually nothing wrong with the strategy. The strategy is fine. Like I'm doing direct messaging just like most of you are, right? But what I'm doing isn't salesy. So it's not what you're doing. A lot of, a lot of us end up blaming the strategy. Well, the strategy sucks. The strategy doesn't work. It's not what you're doing, it's how you're doing it. So Morgan, like what is your current strategy right now? Because <clears throat> if you feel like you're being salesy, chances are that you are. So what's your current strategy right now? People are interested, but don't book, yeah, yep. Yep. So, um, you know, this could be a, a, a number of different things. Either maybe you're not in front of the right people. Your messaging is unclear. So people don't really know what you're doing. So they're not motivated. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm thinking. And also, you know, if you're only using word of mouth, that tells me that you don't really have your own dedicated audience. You're kind of relying on your friends or friends of friends or friends of family, right? Or maybe doctors and I mean, that's great, but you, you always want to have a second parallel stream of leads coming in that is consistent, a consistent flow. Okay? You can't build a business solely on referral unless you really get to that point, which takes a long time. Okay? Um, I think I had a fifth one here that just popped up. Um... Yeah, I mean, this fifth one, some of you guys may be make, making this mistake, is that you're spending more money on ads without a strategy. Yeah, we talked about this. You're spending more money on ads without a strategy. So if you're spending money on ads without a strategy, you're leaving money on the table right there. You're actually losing money now. Now you're losing money. You're not just leaving it, now you're losing it. So by not being proactive, you're leaving a ton of money on the table. Right? Okay. So just sitting back and waiting. I know, wouldn't it be awesome if we could just fill our fill our, our booking calendar just by sitting back and waiting? It's not how it works. If you want a packed calendar, you either have to, one, take, take insurance, right? Then you'll be overloaded, if like a therapist, right? You can take insurance. But because a lot, most of the time we are self-pay, if not all the time, in order to pack our calendars, we got to go pursue. We got to go pursue. Okay, but there's a way to do this without being salesy or pushy or slimy <laughs> in people's DMs. Okay. All right, guys. Any other questions here before we hop off? Was this helpful? Was there was there some value here today? Uh, drop the word value below if there was some value in here today. <clears throat> Apologies for the um, freezing and you know all this all this stuff here, but doing my best over here with technology, as I'm sure all you guys are as well. So, so Morgan's is valuable. Good. Okay, cool. So for those of you who are able to tune in, um, let me know. And for those of you watching the replay, let me know that you got some value out of this. Feel free to continue to comment as you watch the replay. And uh, I'll be sending out the replay uh, later this week. Okay, so if in case you missed any of it, um, I will be sending that out as well. So I want to appreciate you guys for being here with me, of course, every Wednesday. For those of you who are brand new to the group, um, if you still need to get your hands on uh, the four steps to a six-figure spiritual business mini course, this is a free mini course I put together to help you with a lot of the other blind spots in your business as you're moving into online. Um, Katie, go ahead and drop, drop your name below and drop a link to your messenger. <clears throat> Tap Katie's link and uh, drop the word course.